another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Left the goalpost. The dreaded 7-10 split. You know, only three bowlers have ever converted this on TV. And the last time was in 1991. The stats show just how rarely this is made. So, leaves it open. Yep, not much to say. Five ten split. To convert here, you want to hit the left side of the five pin and knock it into the ten. Not that difficult if you're accurate. Missed that one. The five ten split is one you really need to make. The ball just wasn't where it needed to be. Working off a double now. Strikes again. Starting to feel it now. Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. Got the ham bone. Great release on that one. Very nice. There's a nine count, leaving just the five. Pros on tour make this fair over 97% of the time. And a big mistake there. Those are the kind of mistakes that can cost you the win. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. Oh no, the big four. Best strategy here is to try and slide the four and the six pin into the two pins on the other side. Really hard to convert though. A very low conversion rate here. Can't convert the big four. That's a really difficult one to pick up. The hot hand is ready to go here. The seven pin holds, will not go down. Pros will usually make this one. Did not get the spare. Yep, bad release on that one. He's ready in making his approach. How about that? release on that shot and the result was perfect trying to get a streak going here whoa 
hole left a big mess. Here you're going to try to slide the three pin into the two pins on the other side of the deck. Might want to think about using the split ball. As you can see, this is not an easy spare to pick up. That's how you do it. That's some great bowling. Got a strike on the last turn. Picks up eight pins, leaving the four and six. So, leaves the frame open. Time to regroup and focus on your next frame. Here's the breakdown of strikes on each lane. That was nasty. I mean, that is just pure filth going through the pins.